Hello, I want to interrupt you for one minute before we get to Mac Minute. I have some special news that I want to make sure that we let everybody know. We are combining all of our YouTube channels into a single channel. And because of that, if you've been watching Mac Minute on the old, what I'm going to call the old Mac Minute YouTube channel, the videos are going to stop showing up in about six weeks. So to keep getting Mac Minute, you need to go subscribe to the new channel. And it is very easy to remember. It is youtube.com slash techzentv, all one word. And from that channel, you can subscribe to the playlist for Mac Minute and you won't miss a single one. So when you're done watching Mac Minute, I'll remind you again before we go. But when you're done watching Mac Minute, go over to youtube.com slash techzentv and subscribe so that you keep getting Mac Minute on YouTube. Thank you. Now on to Mac Minute. Hello and welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. Last week we talked about doing some power saving things to your Mac and making some adjustments so that it fits your lifestyle. And we showed you a little bit about screensavers. That was just to give you a tease for this week. Because this week we're going to show you how you can set your screensavers, how you can lock your computer when the screensaver kicks in, as well as we're going to show you how you can change your desktop color. Which should be an interesting thing because my desktop is a very funny color right now because of using the chroma key feature. And I don't know what's going to happen whenever I change this. So we'll see what happens. All right, so to get to this, again, we go to our favorite place in the control panel. We go up to Apple and go to System Preferences. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go to Desktop and Screensaver. It's right here. And you're going to see your screensavers. If you go to the screensaver right here, and you have different types of slideshows. So I'm going to say floating. And it's the source. You see how slow this is going right here. You can shuffle the side, slide order, et cetera. You can turn on a clock if you want, just like this. So you can see you can do different things with it. Here's a different version of it. It's called flip up. And you, you can go through and see there's origami, and then there's reflections. They're all different variations of slideshows from pictures. So there's sliding panels, uh, there's a holiday mobile. Uh, a photo mobile, a photo wall. I mean, you, you can pick what you want to do as a, your screensaver if you want to do pictures. And if you keep scrolling down, you get to regular screensavers. Now, I will say these haven't changed very much in the last few versions of OS X. They've had this one uh, for as long as I can remember on OS X. And then there's uh, a Rebisk. I don't know how you can say that. Then you can put a message on the screen. You can do a little shell thing. They've had this one for a couple of times now, too. Um, this one had something similar to iTunes artwork, but I don't have any iTunes on this account, so I can't really show you that. And the word of the day, which I've had for a little while too, and then random. So this is where you can pick your screensavers. Not a whole bunch of options there. Uh, I'll turn off the show with the clock. You can set up hot corners as well, so that certain corners do different things. And again, you want to put the display to sleep, uh, bring up launch pad, get the notification center, all this stuff you can set for different, uh, they call them active corners. So you can do any of that stuff with that. So that's pretty much it for screensavers. Not a bunch of things you can do in there. Um, there are things you can buy for screensavers, but um, I can't say I've ever bought any screensavers. I haven't bought a screensaver since uh, back in the PC days when you had the guy on the island that couldn't get off. I think it's the last screensaver that I bought. All right, so now we're in to the desktop. So I'm gonna be a little careful in here because you can kind of see my head moving around in that little box. That's actually a very bright pink box. That's the color I'm using for the chroma key because uh, the green was interfering with some of the icons and everything uh, down at the bottom. So I've changed it to this bright pink color, hot pink. So if I go changing colors, you're going to see that it uh, goes away. So I'm going to go back and go desktop pictures. So you're going to see me go completely away while I do this. But you can go change your pictures just like this. Um, pick the picture that you want for your background. And it's pretty much that simple. Now, if you have your own picture, you can come in and on your desktop and you can right click on a picture. Like I see here's the Blue Angels right here. If I right click on a picture, I can set it as a desktop picture right here at the bottom and it will become my desktop image. There you go, it became my desktop image. I'm not sure you can see that but it is a Blue Angel picture that I took uh, a few years back. And while you're in here, you can also take things out of iPhoto. 
You can have it, uh, things out of a particular folder. If you have certain desktop folders that have pictures in them you want to use, you can have it change the picture at a certain amount of time, every 30 minutes, or you can do translucent menu bar. Hey, what does? Can you see my menu bar? Huh, well, you know, I found something new as this episode as well. I've been complaining about you can't see my menu bar at the top, and that's how I can fix it. I can make it not translucent. And, <laughs> sorry, squirrel. Uh, <laughs> I can do a random order of photos as well. So I'm gonna go back and see if I can get my solid color back. Oh, my solid color is gone. This should be interesting. Can I get it back? No. It's getting there. Anyways, <laughs> you get the idea. So um, I will see me all different color because of my Tango desktop. I will see you all next week on the next Mac Minute. All right, before you go, I want to remind you, you need to go to youtube.com slash TV and subscribe so that we can see you next week on Mac Minute. It's only a few more weeks left until Mac Minute is no longer on the old channel and only on the new TechZen TV channel. And is again, youtube.com slash TechZen TV. You can go there now because we're done. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the TechZen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the TechZen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.